Okay, in continuation, already we have done uh, typical uh, different varieties of problems in the projections of lines. Apart from that, the important aspect of this particular uh, chapter is we can have a lot of applications. Because see, whenever we do some simple problems, that has to be used in the reality. Okay, that's the reason. Just a heck of it, we are going to introduce some two three problems so that because uh, the syllabus what we have, we don't have uh, much to do with application problems, but still, just to create some interest, the what are the importance of this particular uh, chapter? I am going to do some two three problems based on this. But those who are interested, I think you can just venture this. You can get lot of problems in different standard textbooks. Okay, okay. An object O is placed 1.2 meters above the ground and in the center of a room 4.2 meters, 3.6 meters into 5 meters high. Determine graphically its distance from one of its corners between the roof and the two adjacent paths. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to draw the ortho projection of a room and in that particular room I need to locate the object then I need to determine its distance from one of the roofs. Uh, the roofs may be found between two adjacent walls. That's what I need to do. But anyway before doing this first I need to draw the ortho projection of the room. Now anyway we know that if I say a room, a room has got three dimensions. That is it has got length, breadth and height. And we know that in the ortho projections I can see only two dimensions in a particular view. So, if I want to show the ortho projection of a room, I need to draw top view, front view of that particular room. So, that's what I am going to do it now. Okay, now, we need to, since I have given the dimensions in terms of uh, meters, and anyway we know that in the drawing sheet, I cannot accommodate meters, I need to take some scale. So, let us consider, I have taken scale as 20 mm is equal to 1 meter. And again, the taking scale is left to you. Only thing is, once I take a particular scale, accordingly I am going to get that particular room here, I mean room dimensions. But finally I am going to get back that scale factor once I solve the problem. Okay, anyway let us consider that I will take 20 mm is equal to 1 meter. If I say 20 mm is equal to 1 meter, I can say 1 mm is equal to 0 0.05 meters. Okay, now once you get the final solution, I am going to measure the distance in mm. Then I will multiply that by 0 0.05 scale factor so that I am going to get the actual dimensions. Okay. Now in this particular problem, uh, since I wanted to draw the ortho projection of the room and since we know that in a particular view I can see only two dimensions. Now if I look from the front room, what dimensions you will see generally? Generally if I look from the front, I will see the height and then I can let us say I will see the breadth. Okay. I can say I can see the height and the breadth. Whereas in the top view, let us say I have removed the top. In the top view, already breadth will be known to us. So I am going to get other dimension. Let us say consider that to be the length. So I can say length, breadth, and height. Okay. Now since I have given only this 5 meter as height, that is height has to be taken as 5 meter, which will be seen in the front view. Whereas these two, I have not mentioned anything. Either I can take this as length or you can take this as breadth, it all depending upon how we are going to take it. So there is no hard and fast rule. But only thing is since I have given this height and you know that height always will be seen in front view, this I need to take care. Whereas these two, I can say length, breadth and height I can take. Okay, getting any fashion. Okay. So I will draw the xy line. So now I wanted to draw the front view of the room. So in the front view of the room, I will see two dimensions. Let us say, I will say this breadth as well as height. Let us say this is the breadth I have taken. So breadth I have taken as 3.6 meters. So since it is 3.6 meters, I have taken 0 0.05 meters as 1 mm. So then what about 3.6 meters? That is I need to divide this by 0 0.05. So that I am going to get that length to be 72 mm. So what I need to do then? Here I will take 72 mm as the breadth of this particular room. Let me consider this 72 mm. Then height. What about the height? I give as 5 meters. So since I give as 5 meters, it should be double. That is, I will take just 100 mm. Okay, let me take 100 mm like this.
and no need for dimensioning. I mean, no need for naming. Not required. Don't unnecessarily do the naming of this particular room. Not required. Okay. What I want is I need to simply locate whatever it is required for the problem. So let us say this is the front view of the room. So what are the dimensions I have taken? So this dimension is what dimension is that? This is nothing but I will say 1.2. That is 1.2 meters, which is nothing but what I have taken 100 mm. I have taken. Five meters. Sorry, it is five meters. So five meters. And what about this? I have taken. This is I have taken as 3.6. 3.6 five meters. I have just indicated this. Now I need to draw the corresponding top. What about the top view? And you can see that I have just taken x one and itself. Even if you can take this particular floor of this particular room above x one, also you can take. But anyway, I told you that. The X Y line corresponds to H P and B P. Okay, so H P anyway you are going to stand on H P only on the ground. That's the reason I have taken on X Y line itself is your floor of the room. Okay, now what about the corresponding top view? I can simply take below X Y line. So I will simply draw the projectors through this. Anyway, this dimension is there, three point six. Which is other dimension I should get? I will tell you that this is height, this is breadth. The other dimension has to be the length. Let me take length in the Top view, so I can start somewhere here. Then it is given as 4.2 meters, so it will be 84 mm. So let me indicate that. So this dimension is 4.2. So now, as you can see, we have just indicated the ortho projection of the room, wherein in the front view we see the height, we see the breadth. In the top view, we see the breadth already. We can also see the length. So that combination of these three, we can visualize the projects. I can visualize this room. Okay. Okay. Now that is what I wanted. In this particular room, we have an object. An object who is placed 1.2 meters above the ground. Okay. If I say above the ground, where do you? That is above HP only. So where do you see that particular detail? I will see the detail in the front view. So in the front view, I should show this 1.2 meters. Is it okay? So, but where? Anyway, I can see 1.2. But he has given one more. And in the center of the room. Okay, now if I see from the front, are you able to see the center of the room? I cannot see. If I see from the front, I can see only one of the walls. I can see that particular wall. I can say maybe I can see breadth and height. But if I want to see the center of the room, then which view I can see the center of the room? I need to see from the top. So if I see from the top, I can see the center of the room. Anyway, I can get the center here. So center, how do you get it here? Anyway, this is the top of the room. That is the plan of the room. So where do you get the center? If I join this diagonals. So let me join this diagonals. So that this point will be what point then? I can say over here. So what is over here? If I see from the top, I can see this object which has been placed in the center. But if I see from the top, I cannot make out whether it is on the floor or in between the room or on the floor or above the floor. I don't know anything. But I can simply say that it is the center. But if I want to visualize at what distance it is there in the room, whether it is above floor or Below the roof, etc. But anyway, it is given here. So what it is given here? It is given that this particular object is placed 1.2 meters above the ground. And anyway, I said this is the top view point. So what about its front view point? Front view point has to be. If I draw a projector through this, oh, oh, that should be on the same projector. So I'll simply draw the projector through this. Draw the projector. And what is the height I should take? It is given that it is 1.2 meters. Above the ground. Anyway, this is the ground. So let me say this is that particular point. What else? So this distance is given as 1.2 meters. So as you can see, I have simply drawn the projection of the point O, O and O dash. Okay. Now what I wanted actually, actually I wanted determining graphically its distance. Which distance? The distance of the object from One of its corners. So, what will be one of the corners? As you can see, if I just see a room, how many 
corners. How do you say eight corners? Because four corners will make on the roof as well as four corners will be on the floor, of course, with the intersection of two adjacent walls corresponding. Is it okay? Now I wanted to tell me its distance from one of its corners. See, anyway, since I go the center, na, all the corners are the center symmetrically. That is, where object O has been placed symmetrically with reference to this particular room. Now, since it is symmetrical, that is the reason I given as simply one of the corners. Let us say if I have given this another point, then I need to specify that particular object it is from which particular corner it should be. But anyway, just to make our life simple, I told, I have just given that this particular object has been placed symmetrically. So, I can take one of the corners. Okay, which is corner? Let me take this corner. I can take any corner. Let me, let me take, this is the corner I am interested. Let me call it as another point A now. Some point A. Now, I need to locate this A dash in the front door. So, how do you locate this? Uh, well, you may know that A, A dash is the same projector. Okay, how do you locate that? To do that, I have given one more. So, what is the step I give? One of its corners between the roof and the two adjacent ones. Okay, now if I see the front door, which is the roof here? This is the roof. So, in the roof, which is the corner I am considering? This corner. So, obviously, your A dash should be here. So, as I told you, I have taken this here also. Here also, if I take, I will get here only. Anyway, roof, no. If I say ground means I have taken here. But remember, even if I take here also, it will be the same because it is placed symmetrically. Okay, so anyway, we have this, we have just found out the corresponding uh, uh, the uh, corner A as well as A dash. Now I need to find the distance. How do you find the distance? I need to join the corresponding points. Which point? O dash to A dash. So this is my final projection now. This is my final projection. This is my final projection. Now we just go back to your fundamentals. This is nothing but a problem wherein we know the final projections. Did knowing the final projection, I need to find the true length. Now, where do I need to find the distance now? So, how do you find the distance? I need to find the distance between the object to the uh, this particular corner which is made by the roof and the two adjacent parts. If I want to do that, I need to find the true length of this. So, how do you find the true length of this? Anyway, in both the views, this particular line is inclined to both x, y. Both the top and the front view. Then what you do then? Use the procedure. What is the procedure? Make one of the views parallel x1 and the other view will get the true length. So then what you do then? Anyway, I want to put the true length here now. So what you do then? I will make it parallel. So call it as a1. Again, o is fixed now. So I will just put this a to the corresponding locus in the front view, which is nothing but this particular line only. Is it okay? So, we just extend this. So, this becomes A1 dash. So, I made this line parallel. Since it is made in parallel, in the front view, I can find its corresponding TL. So, then I will call it as TL. Then I will measure this TL. Let us say I am going to get this TL as some X. Okay. So, anyway, it is in terms of, uh, we get in terms of MM only. So, finally, what are the true distance then? I will write the true distance will be equal to x into scale factor. So what is the scale factor you have taken? We have this, that is I think what 1 mm is equal to 0 0.05. So I need to multiply this by 0 0.05. So that I am going to get the true distance between the object and one of the corners made by the roof and the two adjacent walls. Thank you.